So the Deming cycle really is represented by a loop. Um, it's quite useful to draw it as a quadrant, actually. Uh, we've got P, D, um, S, A, and you're going around in that um, sort of direction. Uh, and I find that quite useful because it then represents lots of the other um, models in the sense that they are uh, quadrants. But really it's a loop, so we're going around, um, so we've got the first section is P, which is planned, then we've got D, and then it goes around to study, and then it goes around to A, and then it goes around back. Now what's happening here is you're planning your results. So you're planning your action, you're planning your strategy, and then you're uh, implementing here. So that do is really action. And uh, then you're studying uh, the actual results. And A really represents the um, difference between the actual results and the planned results. So it's actually a... Uh, uh, another way of expressing gap um, and then you go back to the planning stage and you try and close that gap so that makes it clear how it's a continual improvement loop um, and it's called the PDSA loop or the Deming cycle and then we superimpose that on um, uh, various other models for example we can use the uh, primary functions of the value chain to represent the company so Inbound logistics, operations, outbound logistics, sales and marketing, service and margin. And we can use that sort of decomposition model to uh, drill down deeper and uh, <clears throat> construct a much more intricate continual improvement analysis and uh, project plan. And we go over that uh, in the lessons on the website. We have more than 150 video lessons there. We don't go over just this model. We go over more than 150 critical business models, uh, which uh, you can purchase off the website. Uh, and that in red there is a number one. It's not an L. It's a number one. So VA, the number one, ue-chain.com. And as I said, you can purchase more than 150 video lessons from the website there.